What's up guys, it's Ben from Theme Park Groupie. We are here at Busch Gardens, Tampa Bay, Florida for their Christmas Town event. I was here last year and I think I was here the year before, uh, but Christmas Town is always fun. You definitely have to get a lanyard, a sampler, so you can go test out all the tree, hot cocoa. So we're gonna have to try that out. Let's go check it out. So Cheetah Hunt's currently down. They are doing a repaint, which I totally forgot till we got here, but they're actually working on it now and you can smell the paint but it's gonna look good. They have these little photo spots all over the place. This is the third one I've seen so far, which is definitely more common than typical. So they definitely want you to take more pictures, more pictures. All right, come on to, we're coming at you live from Tampa. This is live after post editing from live in Tampa. <laughs> March 2022, just four and a half-ish more months. Uh, I've been, feels like I've been waiting for this thing forever. I'm so ready. Uh, so here is the Christmas Town Village. This is where like you can get all the snacks and all the little stands. But I am seeing that the holiday in the sky, this fireworks every Saturday night starting tomorrow. I didn't realize this was just on Saturdays. And this is opening night, which is a Friday. So we're not gonna be able to see the fireworks. So that's kind of a bummer but uh, I'm sure they're gonna be great. So we're gonna go check out some of the rides before we start eating, but man, this looks good. The deep dish cookies, I was looking up on the little stand, especially hot cocoa, and there's the refills for $3.49. Uh, now that the sun is starting to go down, it's starting to see some of the lights. This is so exciting. This is probably the coolest looking area so far, but again, we haven't been everywhere since the sun has gone down. This looks so cool. Ah, uh, a very furry Christmas at Bush Gardens. This is a pretty cool photo stand. And also, as we speak, Elmo is performing. sitting in front of uh, Santa's North Pole experience. It's got quite a long line, but we are anxious to go check out the snacks to actually use our lanyard for the food and beverage sampler to see what kind of snacks they have. I am really excited. This is such a beautiful area right here. Just a walkway with little designs and decorations and it looks up beautiful. Christmas Town Holly Jolly Express. I'm so excited. I've never actually done this. I didn't get to do it in years past, so I'm looking forward to it. Let's go. So he said no food or drink because it could hurt the animals. So I'm assuming we're gonna see some animals and uh, some Christmas lights, probably. I don't know. Is someone making a, a sword? <laughs> 
<laughs> it was a metal smith. So we just got off of the Holly Jolly Express. So it was good. You got to see animals. It was really dark, uh, but you got to see some animals, which is cool. Uh, but it's kind of different than what I was expecting. I was expecting to see like more Christmas lights and a couple more decorations. It was pretty much you just get to see the animals and you get to listen to Christmas music at the same time. But the train itself was super decorated, which was really cool and really nice. I would definitely suggest do it if you kind of want to just chill for a second. Just go do it and see for yourself if you like it or not. myself so I banged my ear against the side like a million times <laughs> now my ears are blood red outside of that it was fun Christmas on ice, so stinking talented. They're literally like flying all over the stage. I can't even wrap my head around that. I am terrible on skates. I am terrible on blades. But in a couple weeks, I'm gonna be going snowboarding for the first time. So maybe it's a skill I shall acquire, but I doubt it. But now that it's nighttime, let's check out Christmas Town Village and see what kind of snacks they got. All right, these look nice. Dasher's Deli, the Bison Burger, Tachos, Sea Salt Caramel, and Brown Butter Bread Pudding. That looks good, let's get it. Yeah, there we go, well, now we can see it. This is sea salt caramel and brown butter bread pudding. This looks like the bison burger. I'd like to see what the tachos look like. This is the winter donuts and bites. This is our donut fix here. Chicken and donut, buttermilk crispy chicken, smoked bacon maple glazed donut, Mike's hot honey drizzle. I'll take six dos de leche stuffed donut holes, chocolate sauce, vanilla whipped cream, and candy cane. All right, here's the chicken and donut. Look at it from this angle. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, that is going to be good. And these are the donut holes. Dos de leche, I had to ask her. And she said, yes, I am correct in that pronunciation, but still not confident in it. But dos de leche, donut holes. And here's the chicken donut. Chicken, yeah, chicken and donut. It was like bacon pieces. Oh, this looks good. I probably should have got napkins and water because I know this is going to be sticky. Oh, it looks so good. It's good. I thought it was going to be... It looks juicier than it is. How are the donut holes? I'm busting. Yeah, it's a little dry. Definitely should have got a drink. As far as taste goes, oh my gosh. Every time you get a bite with a pickle, it's like perfect. Now that I'm almost done with it, the donuts are perfect. With the bacon on it, everything. It's definitely the chicken that I, I'm, I'm narrowing down. Chicken is definitely a little dry, could be warmer. So if it was a fresh batch of chicken, it'd be on point. I got a deep dish chocolate chip cookie and with a hot cocoa. And I'm so ready and so looking forward to this. I'll tell you what, this cocoa is unbeatable. It's so good. You can get these little lanyards. I've seen several people with them tonight. So a special thanks to Bush Gardens Tampa for asking us to come out and check out the event. Did not disappoint. Once again, you got to ride all the rides and be able to taste all the treats all around the park. Unfortunately, two rides were down. Cheetah Hunt because they're repainting and uh, Cobra's Curse was down just temporarily. 
and it might be up by now, but I don't even know. But uh, got to ride several rides. I had an absolute blast, and I really enjoyed this event. Bush Gardens events are always top notch, and I love being able to come and experience them for myself. You guys got to come do it for yourself. If you guys did like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching Theme Park Grouping. Mm -hmm.